So in the last video, we went over the derivatives of sine and cosine. If you'll recall, the derivative of sine of x is equal to cosine of x, and the derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. So now let's take a look at some of the less more common, or excuse me, less common uh, trig functions. So first of all, let's take a look at tan of x, the tangent of x. Well, what is the tangent of x? If you recall, it's just the sine of x over the cosine of x. And now, we're not going to do a geometric example for tangent because it's a far uglier function. However, what we can do, remember from a while ago, is if you have two functions that are dividing each other, you can use the quotient rule. And what was the quotient rule? It was low d high minus high d low over low squared. So we have cosine low times, and what's the derivative of sine? Cosine low d high minus high is sine. And what's the derivative of cosine? That's negative sine over cosine squared. So we have cosine squared and then those negatives are these the two negatives here are going to cancel out and we're going to have plus sine squared. So we have cosine squared plus sine squared over cosine squared. Well, if you remember uh, uh, one of the, your identities in trig that you probably learned is that cosine squared plus sine squared, this right here equals 1. So we have 1 over cosine squared. And that is actually, uh, that, if you also remember, is secant squared. Just by definition, because one, the, the reciprocal of cosine is secant, so co secant, secant squared would be 1 over cosine squared. So just to write that out one more time, the derivative of tangent of x is equal to secant squared of x. Now let's take a look at um, secant. Well, what is secant? Secant is 1 over cosine. So, so once again, there's two ways we can look at this. One is with the quotient rule, low d high minus high d low over low squared. So we've got Low is cosine, high is 1, so cosine is low, times, what's the derivative of 1? Well, the derivative of a constant is 0, minus high, which is 1, times, the derivative of cosine is negative, uh, yeah, negative sine. And then that is all over, so we'll just to make this more formal, ddx of secant is equal to d dx of 1 over cosine, is equal to low d high, so um, low d high minus high d low over low squared, over cosine squared. So that first part cancels out, obviously you're multiplying by 0, the negatives cancel out, and you're left with sine over cosine squared. Now you might be tempted to leave your answer like that, but recall that tangent is sine over cosine. So that's equivalent to sine over cosine times, sorry, times 1 over cosine. So I just factored out a cosine, basically, of the denominator. So this is tangent, and this is secant. So to write it formally, the, how it's generally taken, the derivative of secant of x is equal to secant tangent of x. Secant x tangent x. Now, I'm not going to go through the formal proofs for uh, cotangent and cosecant because it, they follow exactly the same way, and maybe it's good practice for you. I'll just I'll just write them out real quick. So, the derivative with respect to x of cotangent of x is equal to negative cosecant squared. 
and then see how that how that parallels that the derivative of uh, tangent of x is equal to secant squared. So you notice you're still doing you're still squaring one of the uh, reciprocal trig functions. It just happens to be the opposite one and negative. And then finally, the derivative of oh, I keep it in black. The derivative of cosecant, oh, sorry, d d x of cosecant of x is equal to negative cosecant of x times cotangent of x. So it's a, and you of course can see how that parallels the derivative of secant. Now the uh, the hardest part for me when I was learning these and trying to remember, I always thought the derivative of tangent was secant tangent, and the derivative of secant was secant squared for some reason. And I could never I could never get it straight in my mind. So what I what I what I think helped me remember a bit was to think that it didn't really make sense that the derivative of secant would be secant squared that the derivative of the function would be itself squared. So I just remembered that secant was the one that included uh, secant and tangent, and tangent was secant squared. So uh, hopefully that will help you memorize those. Um, I think that's all we're going to do with trig for now, so see you guys next time.